And what we want to pull off here is essentially rolling credits for our, uh, let's just call this an end of days title sequence here. And what we want to have happen is we want text to approach from the um, bottom half of this video, enter into the video, and settle right here towards the uh, towards the middle, and um, and sit right there for a bit so we can so we can read the uh, the credit sequence. So we want to create a new title sequence for this. So we'll just right click here anywhere in the open area for our project bin, create new item, select title in this case, and it automatically generates the um, requirements that we set up earlier for our video settings. So we'll just do this uh, credit sequence, click OK, and it pulls up our video that we see here and we get a, a title credit dialog box as we looked at before. And I'm just going to select my type tool here and I'm going to drop that size down just a, a little bit for the size of our typeface. And I'll select um, a little bit more appropriate typeface. We'll just type in here, directed by Brian Kelly. And that's me. So I did this fabulous, cheesy end of days credit sequence. And I'll center that. And you can decide kind of where you want that to um, end up here at the end. So we're just going to plant that right in the center so everybody can, uh, can enjoy it there. And once I have it laid out, once I have my type laid out, then I have the option to decide how I want that to enter the frame and, and handle itself. So up at the, um, up at the top left-hand corner, we have a button called Roll Crawl Options. And if we select that button inside of Adobe Premiere, we will be given these options, as you might have guessed. It's exactly that. So you have the option here to do a still, which boring, no one wants to do that. Uh, you can also do a roll or a crawl. Difference between the one, rolls top to bottom, crawl is left to right. So if you want to, you know, uh, warn somebody that a tornado or a hurricane's coming, you know, do a crawl left to right, something like that. A roll, in our case, we've got this fabulous credit that we want everyone to know who, who directed this movie. So we're going to select roll. And we want this to start off screen. So as you would have guessed, click start off screen. And then what happens down here in these controls, we want this to, um, to ease out, kind of like a car slowly approaching a uh, stop sign or a uh, you know a stoplight. If it's red, yellow, just keep going faster. It's about to change red, but we want this to be a um, kind of a cushion movement there at the end. So we want this to just kind of slowly approach and settle into that last keyframe. So we decide how long that wants to occur. So we, since this is handled in frames. We want it set up to be about, about three seconds, so we would select 90 frames here. So I'm going to click OK and drag this onto my timeline so you can see how this is going to look for us. Just click and drag this directly over our movie here. It has that, um, has that transparency automatically affixed into it. And I'm just going to drag this to the length of our video. And I'll play that, and you're going to see how it enters the frame from the bottom, directed by Brian Kelly. And then, since I have that ease out, it kind of settles in to the end, that last keyframe there. But you'll notice at the end, once it settles in with that last three seconds, then it just, it finishes off. You know, the, the, the video is done. So what I want to have happen here is I want a situation to where it will stay put for about the same length of time it took to settle in that keyframe. So about, about three seconds. So I will just double click directly on the credit sequence once again, wait till everything loads up, go back into my options, and down here at the bottom where it says post, post roll, I select 90, or punch in 90, click OK, and what's going to happen there is it's going to stay put for three seconds. So then I can kind of have it settle into that keyframe then it will stay there for three seconds and 
I can read all about that information that I need to, and then it goes, you know, then it finishes off the video. So that's a good way to do just a very nice um, crawl, or I'm sorry, a roll for your um, sort of video. So if you're doing a uh, maybe even uh, a body of text or just uh, credit options, anything like that, does an exceptional job of pulling that off inside of Adobe After Effects.